Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. Let's jump into the reading for Scorpio. Let's see. Spirits, angels, guides. What messages, guidance do you have for Scorpio regarding love? Regarding love. What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? What is coming their way in love? In what you can expect, Page of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles reversed. I feel like something you've been waiting for a long time is on its way or is arriving. Some sort of offer here um oops sorry did i move the sure did hang on because i have i moved into a new location and i'm still trying to make sure that like everything is set up correctly um and this table wobbles now for some reason okay so any past energies or insight on this what you can expect here for uh five of cups reverse five of swords so something definitely happened some sort of conflict must have recently happened um that maybe slowed things down or caused delays but i feel like there is something coming your way scorpio um i feel like you're no longer having to wait for something um i think the conflict is over or whatever happened in the past is over we'll see what this is about uh when we clarify how are you feeling? What are your energies? Okay, Ten of Wands, yeah. And the world, okay. So you're ready for a new cycle altogether. Ten of Wands and the world. I feel like you're ready for something new. Um, you're re ready to start something new, or start a new cycle, go on a journey of your own here. What about the other person? This could be the person you've dealt with in the past, are currently dealing with, or will be dealing with in the future. Four of Wands, reverse. The hangman reverse okay so hmm, doesn't look so great let me move this down a little bit doesn't look so great for this person i won't lie um i feel like this is somebody who needs to become unstuck um or has been in a situation that wasn't very balanced or stable i think this person possibly for a while didn't see things clearly I don't know if this is someone you're dealing with right now or have dealt with in the past or will be dealing with in the future, but um, you're ready for something new. You're dropping something that has probably been weighing on you for a while or has affected you for a while with the Ten of Wands. I feel like this person is like upside down. uh emotionally we'll see what that's all about what do you need to know uh anything that is hidden from you king of pentacles reverse taurus virgo capricorn energy and the page of cups okay so this is somebody that could be apologizing to you or expressing themselves to you and where is all of this headed in the near future king of swords two of wands oh yeah someone's i feel like it could even be information or a conversation um that helps someone choose a path or um guide someone's path it's almost like this information is what someone might be waiting for or needing to know in order to make their decision here with the two of wands so why is all of this happening what's the overall energy at the bottom of the deck wow ace of pentacles Nice big offer. I just did a reading for, I think it was Pisces. And they got the Ace of Pentacles as well, upright like this, right in that position. So I feel like you're, there's something coming your way for sure, Pisces. Not Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> um, Pisces was yesterday. And they got the Ace of Pentacles. And they also had something coming in in this um, and what they could expect. But I feel like you're getting the same thing as they are. Um, Scorpio <laughs> something definitely is being offered to you now with Pisces I thought that for a lot of the 
Pisces that I was reading for, it was a job offer or something monetary, you know, financial. So I'll, I'll see if that's the case with you uh, when I start clarifying here. So let's get some clarity spirit for Scorpio. What do we need to know for Scorpio regarding love, relationships? What do we need to know for Scorpio? Well, let's start with this Ace of Pentacles because I want to see what this is all about. Okay, let's see. Three of Wands and the Sun. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for this. And I did get that energy over here. I feel like this is something you've been waiting for. It's almost like you've been waiting for this to start something. Ace of Wands. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me something, please. About this Ace. What do we need to know for Scorpio about this Ace of Pentacles? Three of Cups. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. This could be involving more than one person. This could be a reunion of some sort. I want one more. I feel like there's celebrate. It's more like a celebration. Like I see you celebrating this. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Ace of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles, okay. So I feel like this is something you have to think about. And you know, I feel like if you are dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart, you should check out that reading. Very similar energy so far. Um, now this Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands is telling me that you are probably going to have to weigh your options or think about this offer when it arrives. I see this as someone who is also possibly juggling a lot, doing a lot, which this makes sense because the Ten of Wands is here, Five of Swords is here. I feel like you maybe have been working towards something or been having a lot on your plate. You're thinking about the past for some reason. Six of Swords, Five of Cups. You might have to make some sort of change in your life or leave something behind, leave the past behind. This also makes sense because the world is here for you. So let's see, what's this page of pentacles? This is what you can expect. What is the page of pentacles doing here with the seven of pentacles reverse spirit? What do we need to know about this page of seven pentacles with the seven of pentacles? King of cups, what do we need to know about the page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles reverse? The devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, there's something that you need to leave behind or have left. This, and I'm going to tell you what I told Pisces, and I'm sorry that I keep mentioning Pisces, but it's just that similarities are very strong. Um, this is not going to be for Scorpios that have had no changes in their life. I feel like this reading is for a Scorpio who they've already made some sort of change or have left something behind or in a transition towards something new, um, actively. I feel like um, the Scorpio that I'm reading for has been stuck in a situation that has affected them emotionally. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? This Page of Pentacles here. Page of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely something coming in and there's the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so some of you could definitely be um getting some sort of job offer uh researching jobs applying for jobs looking into some sort of project hobby or business i don't really get love um and that's the same i don't know what's going on here because I cleansed the decks and I did Pisces yesterday. So I don't understand, but I can tell you that the energies are very similar to that Pisces reading. I feel like you're also, yeah, this is this is gonna be some sort of move for you. Uh, you're leaving something behind Scorpio, for sure. 
um, and stepping into something new. But you're, it's almost like whatever's coming in for you, you're participating in it. So you're doing research about it, talking to someone about it, getting information about it. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The lovers. Yeah, this could have been a partnership. Gemini energy here with the lovers. A, restrict, a, a partnership that left you feeling restricted. A partnership that was unhealthy or uh, toxic. Maybe a partnership that has been weighing on you heavily. Maybe like an, an almost like obsessive, um, an excessive nature about it. What happened? What happened with this Five of Cups reverse and the Five of Swords? What can you tell me about this Five of Cups reverse, Five of Swords? Now, this is kind of the influence. This this is what has recently happened that is influencing what's coming in. Something happened that wasn't fair to you. Some sort of conflict. Tell me about the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups reverse. Page of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse with the Five of Swords. Ace of Swords. So I feel like um, someone could have recently apologized or talked to you about this problem, or you have gotten clarity about this problem. Yeah. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. The um, These two energies here, it's like you know something, you're clear on something, you have the information for something, et cetera, et cetera. Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. Hmm. I don't know. You could have learned the truth about something as well, about this problem. Someone could have apologized and maybe you realized something about this um, situation through that apology, something like that. And I feel this is all, all, all of this that happened here it's almost like it's been preparing you for this, for the world. So let's see, let's get some insight. Spirit, give us some insight into the energies between Scorpio and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies between Scorpio and this other person? Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. What do we need to know? Deep regret and difficult decision. Okay, so you're thinking about the past or a past decision. Maybe you're having regrets. I feel like you're the one that's having to make a decision um, about choosing a different path or a different direction. Going in a different direction. This has been a difficult decision for you. Maybe this decision about going in a new direction makes you feel guilty. Maybe because you're leaving someone behind. Tell me about the other person. Tell me about the other person. What do we need to know about this other person? Balancing act and patiently waiting. So this person probably has been um, waiting to make a decision or waiting to get their life together, basically. Let's see what else. Let me get a kipper that these energies. What else, what else? First Scorpio and this other person. What else can you tell us for, for Scorpio and this other person? Main male. Okay, what else for Scorpio? Expectation. Okay, tell me about the person Scorpio is dealing with. Pathway and mature man. Okay, so what I'm getting here, there's the lovers at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're both waiting for each other for something um, because you have expectation. And this is someone that's like waiting for something with expectation, right? And then they have um, patiently waiting. You have main male, they have mature man. So there's a masculine energy here that's very, um, um, it's almost like you are both thinking about this same exact thing. So this person is probably not someone new. This is probably someone involved in this situation. 
it's almost like there's a masculine energy between you or a masculine energy that's very important here like either the decision they make or something like that pathway is here this person has pathway and you have difficult decision um, now pathway is a card about being on a long journey and still having a long way to go so this with patiently waiting is telling me almost like if you are waiting for this person you would have to wait a, a lot longer Scorpio I don't know. I feel like this is related. It's almost like you both know about this same situation, you know, or you're both involved in this same situation. So let's see. Let's clarify. What is this world about? What can you tell me about the world? What can you tell me about the world? Ten of Pentacles. Wow. And what's this? Page of Pentacles. Yeah. So this, this offer coming in for you, I feel it's a long-term stability, long-term success. Um, it, this could definitely be a job or a career move for a lot of you. Um, or just something, if it is love coming in for you, Scorpio, if it is meeting someone, then it's going to lead to something long-term. I feel like you're making a move of some sort. You know, if you are with this person, then I feel like you would have to start new somewhere. Um, so if this person's already currently involved with you, I feel like this is new outside of them or despite them, if that makes sense. It's almost like this is something new to you. So why would an old person be kind of attached to that unless you're both going on a new journey together? But I don't, again, I'm not getting a lot of love here. Tell me about the world. Can I get one more? Can I get one more energy, please, for the world? Oh, I got two. Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So you have doubts, fears about this. Yeah, because of the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you have to let something go or you're being forced to let something go. You're ending a cycle, Scorpio, or you've recently ended a cycle. And now it's like, what's next for me? Where am I headed? This is something completely different. Will all of this work out for me? That's the energy I'm getting here. So let's see what's going on with this person. Tell me about the four of wands reverse with the hangman reverse. What's this about? What's this about with the four of wands reverse and the hangman reverse? Oh, we got the five of swords. So they're the ones involved in this conflict or this situation that hasn't been fair to you. What else? What else can you tell me about the five, uh, four of wands re reverse with the hangman reverse? King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be, um, this person's going to probably talk to you. King of Swords, King of Swords. Um, but I feel like you already know. Queen of Swords, Five of Swords here. So if, it's almost like maybe they're going to talk about what happened. What conflict there has been uh, between you or what conflict has affected this connection. Wow. Six of Cups, Death. There you are, Scorpio. And the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Um... Wow. Okay. So there's a lot of messages here. Obviously an ending of some sort, um, an ending that could be tied to the past, an ending that's probably tied to a commitment. I don't know if this person has had a third party outside of you or if there's a third party here because I'm picking up almost like you're between a Six of Cups and the Hierophant. There's the fool at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this is very interesting to me because I don't know. I'm not picking up that this person is going with you wherever you're going. This is a new cycle completely here. And I feel like this person is like, maybe you're headed in a new cycle and they're trying to talk to you now. Or, you know, they're, you're headed in a new cycle and you were hoping to go with them, but they still have things going on. I just am not picking up here strongly that this person is going with you on this journey. So what do you need to know? King of Pentacles reverse. The King of Pentacles reverse doesn't really have anything to offer. Um, they don't make good financial decisions and sometimes they're not the best partners. So I'm trying to figure out what this is with this Page of Cups. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse with the Page of Cups. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? The Page of Cups. Oh wow, Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely, en there's endings all over this uh, spread. I feel like, um, Someone could be apologizing or expressing themselves about this ending. The High Priestess, okay. 
There could have been secrets or mis a mysterious element or someone's intuition guiding them through this ending. Can you get one more for the King of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Page of Cups? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Very powerful. A number 10 as well. I have I have so many 10s on the board. 10 of Wands, 10 of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune is a 10. 10 of Swords. I think this ending was meant to happen. So if this is an ending that you have found very difficult or painful, um, just know that it was meant to happen. It's basically almost like a blessing in disguise I see here, which by the way, that's kind of been a common theme. Something coming in as if by magic or something coming in to change things around altogether. I feel like someone could be wanting to apologize to you, express themselves to you with the Page of Cups because it's shown up twice and it's shown up with not so great cards. So every time I see a Page of Cups with like a Five of Swords, for example, which is here, I think of someone apologizing for the conflict. So the fact that I have the Page of Cups there with the King of Pentacles reverse is making me think of someone apologizing for their own bad behavior or their own... Uh, crappy uh, way of handling a situation but i think i don't think this is going to change oh my gosh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry leon please i am so sorry scorpio my dog thinks he's a rottweiler and ever since we moved here there's so many more people around and so many more sounds and things like that and he's just not having the best time <laughs> Anyways, so what I was trying to say before before I was so rudely interrupted, <coughs> Leon, stop. Please ignore him, guys. I'm sorry. I hope that he's not so loud, like too loud for you. Um, what I was trying to say, again, is that whatever apology is coming your way or whatever someone's trying to express, it's not going to change the outcome. There's still going to be a Ten of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. It, you know, which is why the Two of Wands is here for, you know, what you can expect next or where all of this is headed in the near future. There's still going to be a different path chosen or this is what someone's going to have to decide is where do I go from here? Because the choice is not going to be stay the same. That's not a choice anymore. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. So let's see. Tell me about this King of Swords. King of Swords is shown up twice. Queen of Swords is here as well. Ace of Swords is here. So I think information, a conversation, or clarity. It's very important here. Page of Swords is also here. Tell me about the King of Swords. What is this King of Swords doing here? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. What what do we need to know about the King of Swords? Interesting. Got an interesting message there. The message I got is that whatever this is, which is, this is not really what temperance means, but whatever information is coming your way here, whatever someone is figuring out or analyzing or using their intelligence for, whatever truth this is, because that's kind of what the King of Swords symbolizes, someone's thinking about it, taking their time processing it, is what I'm getting with temperance. So this is not going to be someone, this Two of Wands is not going to be a quick decision that someone makes you know without really thinking about it a lot tell me more about the king of swords tell me more about the king of swords queen of wands yep tell me more about the king of swords one more please i feel it's because someone's gonna have to make a decision yeah so someone you know the moon has shown up pisces energy I feel like um, this King of Swords is going to require action with the Queen of Wands. However, someone doesn't really know all of the facts or there's a lack of clarity with the moon or doubts or confusion that someone might be having. That's why they're thinking so hard about it. Because this Two of Wands, there's no certainty, there's no guarantee. What's this Two of Wands about? What can you tell us about the Two of Wands? What can you tell us about the Two of Wands? Wow, the Empress. What can you tell us about the Two of Wands for Scorpio? What do we need to know? So many major arcanas coming in for you um, with these clarifiers. 
What else do we need to know about this two of wands? Nine of wands showed up. What else do we need to know about these two of wands? Wow, queen of pentacles. So basically what I'm getting here is that there's no... There, I feel like someone is just tired, overwhelmed with... Which I feel this might be you. Um, it's almost like you're just... You, you don't want to give up. <laughs> but it's so much easier to give up than to push forward. However, what you need to know is that where you're headed is so much more abundant, so much more secure and stable than you might even realize with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like someone needs to think about what it is they truly bring to the table. Because maybe someone has forgotten. The Empress knows her value. Everything that she touches turns into gold. She makes things happen. She creates abundance. She has what it takes, but she knows it. That's the difference with her um, and, let's say, I don't know, Queen of Cups or any of the other queens. Um, she she is at another level because of her confidence and her abil ability to create. She just brings, has so much value in and of herself. She doesn't need anybody else. Queen of Pentacles is very similar. Um, Self-sufficient, entrepreneur, um, financially savvy. She could be independent if she wanted to, Queen of Pentacles, 